Harvey Weinstein. Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie are among the latest actors to accuse him of sexual harassment. Meanwhile, many Democrats, including the Obamas, have condemned him, a huge Democrat donor for decades. Listen to what Michelle Obama said about him. This is back in 2013, roll tape. Thanking Harvey Weinstein for organizing this amazing day. Harvey. This is possible because of Harvey. Uh, he is a wonderful human being, a good friend, and uh, just a powerhouse. Here is the Obama's statement on Weinstein, quote, Michelle and I have been disgusted by the recent reports about Harvey Weinstein. Any man who demeans and degrades women in such a fashion needs to be condemned and held accountable, regardless of wealth or status. Hillary Clinton also releasing a statement saying, I was shocked and appalled by the revelations about Harvey Weinstein. The behavior described by women coming forward cannot be tolerated. Their courage and the support of others is critical in helping to stop this kind of behavior. Here now, Sandra Smith, co-host of America's Newsroom and outnumbered on the Fox News channel. Your Hi, response to what's going on with the scandal. Uh, to quote Kellyanne Conway, who was on our show, America's Newsroom, yeah. just a few minutes ago, she said, you know, it took Hillary Clinton about five minutes to come out and blame the NRA for last Sunday's massacre in Las Vegas. It took her about five days to issue that statement hmm. about Harvey, her friend, Harvey Weinstein. So, you know, look, it's it's. A lot of people are having to be held accountable for what they knew while they knew him. And the deeper you dig, as she also said, the uglier, uglier things get. It's yes. not a good situation. Uh, I feel very strongly that the women who came out before this was exposed in public, they're the people who were truly brave. They deserve how praise because they stood up when nobody else was standing up. And no slight they to those who are coming there. out later either. I mean, they paved the way. It, it takes a it's certain person. It's easier to come out later than it is to come out first. I can't tell you that. But it, look, it's a telling moment for Hollywood, uh, those who are willing to come out and, and speak against him. And look at those who are standing by his side and supporting him in the wake of this as well. There are a few. If we get to the Oscars next year and I get another moral lecture from Hollywood, Ooh. my head will explode. Mm. I don't think they're going to do that. So you bring up a good question. Does this moment, does this man in the revelations, mm. does this change things? Does this change right. Hollywood? Do we see a different Hollywood? It won't change its politics. Mm. No. Not a prayer. It will not change its politics. Mm. They're liberals now and they're liberals in 10 years in the future. Should. But that's just my opinion. I want to talk about tax reform with you because I know you're plugged in closely to that. Mm -hmm. We understand there's only... Look at my little, my little uh, emergency purse is on your set. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's that got to do with tax costs? <laughs> I bring that up to set. You know, it's got a little bit of like... Toothpaste. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> can we call now talk we tax cuts or what? I mean, come on. You ready for tax cuts? So let's talk tax cuts. Yes, yeah, so let me, let me pose a question. And I will tell question. you. Oh, please. We've got 31 legislative <laughs> days left this year to get a tax package through. I don't think you can get tax reform through. You Here's might my get point. tax cuts. Go Even on. if it does go through. Even if it does. Is it enough? Does it change things enough? Is this as big of a tax plan as the president is touting it to be? I hear from a lot of people who are concerned that this will not, this, that they'll lose out, the middle class will lose out on this again. Look, part of the problem is, and, and there is such an optimistic environment because President Trump is even willing to go here, tax reform, tax cuts, mm -hmm. talking about business incentives, bringing down the unemployment right. rate, raising wages. Thank him for that. That's great, right? And that's why you're looking at this stock market that continues right. to thrive. But he hasn't given us a whole lot of details of this plan. We can't sit down and do the calculations and put out estimates of where we're going to be a year from now, two years from now, well, or what the savings actually are to the average American household. But wait a second. If you put out the details, the Senate Republicans who oppose President Trump will jump he all over He says the average American it. household saves $4,000 in this tax plan, right? They get a $4,000 raise, Liz. Yeah. I know you look at these numbers so closely. So answer me this. Over what period of time? Because even his closest economic advisors are saying that's over an eight-year period. Yeah. It's about $500 in savings a year. Well, you have the numbers. So, so in, in, listen, this, I hear what you're saying. If you want 4% growth, you got to have jobs and wages going up. How do you do that? It's tax cuts to get small businesses to hire and corporations. Yep. You know, the Office of Tax Analysis at the Treasury sitting on a, a report that shows that workers pay 18 percent, 18 percent in lost wages from the corporate taxes going up. That's the storyline. They are boxed in, guys, by the Senate fiscal yep. debt rules that say you cannot add to the deficit after 10 years right. if they want to do it at that 51 percent. 
you know, vote right. level right. in the Senate. They're boxed in. So that's what it's hamstringing them. You see what you did? You took <laughs> her right into the weeds. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, the grass I love is it, a though. foot higher. I love that we're having this conversation and creating a more business friendly environment because you know, by so many times I sat down in your show during the election, Stuart, that mm. the candidate that showed they would be the most business friendly would win. He did. He's there now. Let's get, this is a big speech today. You know, you, wait a minute. You give them an anchoring job on the Fox News Channel, they come on the Fox <sighs> Business Channel and take over my show. You know, you, you, know, you <laughs> invited me here, sir. did. It's the sir. last time. So, <laughs> Sandra, thank you very much. Thank Seriously, you. Thank you. Thank you. Um,